Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions of substituted benzenes, focusing on the regiochemical outcomes with most deactivators. Most deactivators are meta directors, which means with uh, most deactivators, the meta substitution product or pattern is preferred over ortho and para. Now, there's one exception to this, and that's the halogens, which are deactivators, but ortho and para directors. And we will talk about that particular issue uh, in the next video. Like in my video on the activators, I'm going to go ahead and pre-draw some of the resonance structures because there are a lot of them. And so here I'm showing the resonance structures for nitrobenzene, highlighting how nitrobenzene pulls electron density out of the ring. Uh, at least put in some arrows maybe for this first structure. Pulls electron density out of the ring by resonance. And we can attempt to represent that resonance hybrid like this, where there is a partial positive charge on the ortho meta on the ortho and para positions, but not at meta. So in this case, electron density is decreased at ortho and para. So because electron density is decreased at ortho and para, the only places that are left with reasonable amounts of electron density to react with electrophiles are meta and meta. Now I'm going to continue using nitro as my uh, deactivator uh, of choice here, but in fact, um, any deactivator is going to do this. And just like in the activator case, uh, this is independent of the identity of the electrophile. So I'm only going to talk about generic electrophiles here. I am not going to talk about a specific electrophile. Uh, just like in the, the activator case, the ortho para director case, uh, we can consider a, a different explanation looking at the resonance structures of the intermediates. But here are the resonance structures of the intermediates from uh, attack at the ortho position. And just like in the activator case, positive charge ends up ortho, para, and ortho to the electrophile. And I actually want to point out um, that the ortho, ortho, ortho para, ortho uh, arrangement of the positive charge in the electron density case is the same position, ortho, para, ortho. And in fact, because of the conjugation pattern in the ring, you're always going to have that charge build up ortho, para, and ortho to whatever's going on. There are never going to be any charges or in increased or decreased electron density in meta. Meta is, is left out, and if you try to exhaustively draw all possible resonance contributors, you'll see that. But it turns out that one of these structures, one of these resonance contributors here, puts that positive charge by the electron withdrawing group, which destabilizes this carbocation intermediate. Remember, electron withdrawing groups destabilize uh, cationic intermediates. Here are all the resonance structures for the meta attack. Positive charge ortho, para ortho to the electrophile. And none of those positions end up next to the uh, electron withdrawing group. So we can say here that the intermediate is not destabilized, which is a pretty cool outcome. Right? If you remember from the uh, electron donating case, ortho intermediate was stabilized, meta intermediate not stabilized. Same deal here. It's not that meta is stabilized in the electron withdrawing case. It's just not destabilized. And that's going to be the big difference. And then finally, in para, we again get positive charge ortho, para, and ortho to the electrophile. And 
like in the other case, like in the electron donating case, one of those is by that substituent, but nitro is electron withdrawing. So this intermediate is destabilized by that nitro group. And since the nitro group destabilizes ortho and destabilizes meta, or I'm sorry, destabilizes ortho, does not destabilize meta, destabilizes para. Meta is the only place that this reasonably can happen because it, substitution of meta keeps the positive charge in the intermediate away from the electron withdrawing group. In the next video, we'll talk about the halogens, uh, which are active or which are deactivators, but are ortho para directors. So their behavior is a little bit strange. Uh, and then I'll summarize the behavior of the different functional groups and point out some. Uh, just a handful of other complications that occur. Um, and we'll also talk a little bit about ortho versus para. Uh, thank you for watching.